what is up everybody welcome back to real time i'm rob i'm bryce and i'm zuff and today we are back with season three episode six of the outer banks this one is called the dark forest last episode was the heist we had two separate heists going on one of them was successful one of them not the pogues tried to get the cross back from rafe and ward cameron they like hijacked a train they got topper back toppers back that was awesome uh, I hope he sticks around for the rest of the season because everything that he says is funny, whether it is intentional or not. I just, he's hilarious. But yeah, they, they tried to get the cross back. JJ almost died. That's crazy. And yeah, it was a fake. I think it was like tires or like cement in, in the box and not the actual cross, which is a huge bummer. But Barry and Rafe ended up with the actual cross. And they're now melting it. Yeah. Rafe wants to melt the cross down because he thinks it's going to be easier to like distribute the gold that way and like sell it. It probably would be, but it I feel is, like it's, it's going to be hard to get to that temperature. Like it's, yeah. what was it, like 1900 degrees? Yeah, and just like your backyard. Yeah, it's going to be hard to do. I don't know if he will for sure do it, but I think he will. But the other heist was uh, Big John Rutledge and John B. Bring it on home, John B. And they successfully broke into some archive. That was and, crazy. And stole the other piece to that totem thing. And now they have it complete. It was eyes were lighting up in the light. Remember when Big John was crying? Yeah, I don't know exactly <laughs> how this thing works. Like, I guess it like directs you to where el dorado is but i thought it was so goofy right after that he they went to limbries and cured her with a the fake oh god that was so bad a fake um potion what was it called archive the shroud, the shroud. yeah i don't know exactly where they're going now like obviously they just found out that the cross is fake like you guys said but i think like the morale or like the the status of the group right now is really bad particularly uh with ian jj mm -hmm. jj was over there at key's place and her parents were like i mean her dad was just kind of like bad mouthing him right to his yeah. face so he said you know what you you call me a thief i'll be a thief i'll take your your little like money clip so he took it dropped out when they were getting on the dirt bike he was like what the heck like what is this about so i think she's really upset about that and also pope is just like her, down horrendous right now like He's really, he really wants to get this yeah. cross for his family. And yeah, he's like emotionally attached to it, whereas they just kind of want the gold. I think they just want to help him, honestly. Yeah, yeah, at this point, they're just trying to help him for sure. Yeah, I mean, this one's called the Dark Forest. I mean, when I think of the city of El Dorado, I, I think it, it'd probably be like in an overgrown forest or something. I don't think it'd just be like a standalone gold city. I think it'd be like a hidden treasure type thing, because... If it's just out in the open somewhere, someone would definitely find it if it's just a city of gold. Mm -hmm. I mean, I don't think this is a spoiler, but I, I did see like an interview with John B saying like that they spend a lot of time in the forest. So like, no, oh. I think they're going to be in the forest. All right. All right, guys. So that is pretty much it before we do get into the episode. If you have been liking all of our Outer Banks reactions, please leave a like, drop a comment and subscribe. We are getting super close to 100,000 subscribers. So please hit that sub button. It helps us out a lot. We'd really, really appreciate that. Check out all the links in our description as well. We got the Patreon, Discord, all of our social medias, as well as the address to our PO box. Send us something to be opened up on camera, like everything you see behind us right now for our show mail time. And with all that being said, guys, we're going to get right into the episode Outer Banks season three, episode six. Let's do it. Blinky. There we go. How is this thing still running? I don't know. How is not one cop pulled him over with this destroyed windshield? On every great quest, even the famous ones, there comes a time where all roads lead to disaster. And every step seems a misstep. John B feels like he's at the, dis the ah, disaster part right now. He's still thinking about the people who got gaffed. I mean, the people his father murdered in front of his face. Yeah. <laughs> We gotta be hush hush about this, JB. You know that, right? We can't tell your friends. No, come on. Dad, they're just as much a part of this as you are. <laughs> Do you wanna put them in danger? <laughs> no, Dad just doesn't wanna cut them in. <laughs> so still the same. I feel like later. Big John just the or ultimate not. gaslighter. <laughs> I know, he sucks. <laughs> but I love him. Yeah. I do love him. I don't know, it's so weird. He's such a bad dude, but he's just funny as hell. Oh, here we go, the reunion. Oh my gosh. John, he's like, wow, I want to tell these guys yeah. about this. This is a horrible secret to keep. It was a dead end. 
dry hole. <laughs> JJ can smell the bullshit. <laughs> Street continues. Great. See you, Johnny. They're just leaving now. I feel like Pope was they the only one who believed what he just said. They just cracked the beers. Remember what Big John said about Sarah? He Told got her the big prize. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> think I'm gonna be mad you went for the big prize? What? You think I'm, I'm, I'm lying? Is that no, what you think? No, it's just... No. The no, yeah. story that you told us isn't really adding up. If there's anything that you can't tell the others, you can tell me. My dad said not to, so I'm not gonna actually. This is gonna be the, the issue in the relationship. Mm -hmm. Just straight up lying. He won't her. tell the truth. My dad came back, and he's trying to help all of us. Uh -huh. And meanwhile, your dad tried to kill you. Oh. Jeez, what does that have to do bro. with anything, bro? What does that have to do with anything, John B? Am I wrong? Is that a weird thing to say? Well, then call me when you want to tell the truth. I mean, everyone just knows he is yeah. lying through his teeth. I mean, Big John, you're gonna have to let him tell. Come on. We got work to do. Does he have a clean shirt to question, his bro. name? Doubt it. Everything just has a stain on it, bro. He's just getting absolutely sucked into this quest. You know, his big John is a black hole that John B can not get away from. Oh God, wait, who stole it? <laughs> who stole it, Faith? Oh my God, who stole it, Dad? <laughs> I have no clue. We were just giving it away anyway, so who, who cares? Who cares? When that's completed, I want you to shut down the office. Yeah, no, I, well, actually, I wanted to talk to you about that. Um, I'm thinking maybe we should keep the offices. He's just not doing he anything. He is just trying else. to take over. <laughs> like this will be right. No, no. You Boy, it's gonna get listen. so upset. Okay. You listening? <laughs> <laughs> you gonna hop on a plane? Come down here? I mean that would be like a goddamn Elvis sighting. We're <laughs> hammered everyone! Oh my god he lives! <laughs> he's back from the dead I think he might know that he stole the cross. Yeah. I think Ward's putting it together. I think Ward's like, damn, I really can't do anything right now. I don't like lying to her, Dad. Yeah. Well, Elder Otto, kid, eyes <laughs> on the prize. Dad, I really don't want to lie to my girlfriend at all. Okay, but we got a gold to find. Hey, be careful with that. What's going on here? The timing in the show. So good. Where's Dr. Kepler? Who's that guy? Dad, we should probably leave. What? I feel like Singh did something. Oh my god. I'm so sorry. Oh, never mind. Oh. Ass is away. She just got me back from an expedition. Made a major new discovery. What was that? <laughs> what was Jungle? that discovery? South America somewhere. What? Do you know where? Exactly. No, she wouldn't tell me. Members of the expedition swore to keep their location secret until they get published. Can you give me any information? It's so inappropriate. Professor Sowell. He lives nearby, not far from here. Assuming you know the Sowell guy? You know everybody on Kill there, right? He was my mentor. Oh, of course. Maybe he can help us decipher this thing? There's a reason I didn't go to him first. Bad relationship. John B and I kind of got to like a, a little fight. Basically, I don't have anywhere to stay and race at Taney Hill and I was just wondering like maybe I could stay here with yeah. you. Hey, hey, hey. Of course. No. <laughs> what? <laughs> Listen, Sarah, I'm sorry. You're always welcome here, but come tomorrow. Right? Right now we just need some family time, okay? Yeah, but like my brother tried to kill me though, and that's the only place I can go, so it was so weird of her dad. Hey, 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 hey. <laughs> no, no. Hey, no, 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 no. This innocent girl needs a place to stay? No, 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 no. She's getting hammered. Oh my, is she getting wasted? Sarah? <laughs> <laughs> what are you, what are you doing? <laughs> yeah. Hi, Tom. You look a little thirsty. You want, this beer's right there. You can grab a drink. Oh no. She's gonna get wasted. Look, I know you have a boyfriend, and um, I have a, I have a girlfriend. What? Right 
You have a girlfriend? Yeah. You're surprised? <laughs> I'm fucking top. Like, what do you mean? <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna be single forever. What do you mean? Elena, Reedy, we were together. She was just always like up your ass, and it was just weird to me. I'm... Oh, you're jealous. I'm not jealous. <laughs> you're jealous. No, I get, no, no, I get, it's fine, not Sarah. Not I get. It. <laughs> he would drop this girl in a heartbeat yeah, if Sarah yeah. wanted him. Well, you left and broke up with me, so. Hey, yo, top. Sup? Kels. Kels. Oh my gosh. So we're all headed out to Mace. We're gonna, you know, Kel, Steve's not Elena, by the way. Um, just gonna do a little surf and sun action, you know, a little fellowship by the break. Come on, I want you to come. Just a hundred percent not that a news girlfriend. Dude, she's not coming. Like, you can come. He literally said, he goes, hey, my girlfriend's not gonna be there, too. <laughs> That's one of the reasons you should come. And I was already ahead, so it should be no problem. Uh, yeah, back into it. Hope, you didn't just miss a little bit of time. You missed 27 days of school. That's almost six weeks. Oh, that's not that bad. It's only been 27 days. <laughs> these are all lower level classes. I took these my eighth grade year. Yes, because the spots in the higher level classes are taken up by students who didn't miss half the semester. That sucks, Pope. Yeah, that is. Thank you. Just like that. That's exactly what's supposed to be happening. <laughs> yep, he knows. Hey, Pope, where are you going? Excuse me? You need a bathroom pass. School ain't worth it anymore. He said, fuck that. <laughs> Jeez, Pope. I'm your best bet. You see all those boats out there? Those are kook boats. Hey, the kooks pay my bills. You and your friends aren't exactly trusted by that crowd. Yeah, he would steal one of those boats if needed. Yeah. I can find cheap help. It doesn't piss my clients off. I gotta go. I'm just gonna steal it out. Yeah, so you got to go steal it. Oh, you can't hire me? I'll just steal it then. <laughs> uh oh. Uh oh. Wow, they're being loud, huh? Is he swimming? <laughs> Bone? Wow, they melted it. That's fucked up. Oops, cross. These gyms are thin, man. The gold bully. We're selling it in bars, all right? I'm not gonna deal with some half ass poke shit hey, or some bro. reject from sales, bro. Can't, <laughs> I can't. Yo, bomb shot. What's going on? What happened? Detecting a real heavy vibe. What's going on? You have to be really pissed. Oh. Shut up, rich dick. <laughs> what? what? Must be an inside joke. Poke, he has to cross. And he melted it down. Oh. Oh, oh God. Sorry, really put my credit kill for you. It's so bad. I can't believe he melted that thing. That was a... Fuck! Literally a historical artifact. Like, that's crazy. I think we need to stay calm to make a plan. But we gotta stay... <laughs> Getting better at that. I think we gotta stay calm and make a plan. They're gonna keep doing that shit. They're gonna keep winning. I mean, Pope, is that news to you? I can't. This episode's making me so anxious. I was sick of being a good guy. Oh no, Pope. No villain arc. Pope. Pope. <laughs> oh man. No villain arc, Pope. I kinda like it. Pope is down horrendous right now. He quit school. I mean, John B probably did too, huh? And JJ. Yeah, I mean all of them. Hey Dad, you know, why, why don't we come back when he's actually here? He's always like, when he's by a house, he's ready to like break in. Yeah. Just a quick, minute long conversation. That would be great, Dad. On the way out of school, kid. Come on. Straight on until we hit pay dirt. Donnie, you in here? He like only talks in sayings. Yeah. Just in <laughs> phrases. Yeah. I love him. I don't think I do. I love him, but I'm terrified of him. So, I'm gonna keep the place like this. Wow. I mean, come on. Hey. Hey. Check back there. I feel like everyone on that expedition is just like dead somehow. They got killed. <laughs> oh, what? Tommy's here, and he's got a crazy hat on. Tommy. Tommy? Tommy. Who's Tommy? Me, Johnny Rutledge. Oh, uh, the, the guy we're looking for? 
Oh, is he is he deranged? Oh, it's the guy who's his mentor. That lives here. Why was he in a closet? You abandoned us. Abandoned? That's a strong word. My C B radio went out. There was complications and unexpected potholes. Hmm, that's probably a lie. Probably abandoned them. It's not someone's breaking in. Sorry. About the big entrance. Why are you apologizing? They broke into your house. Yeah. Because I thought someone was trying to break in. Well, you were right. <laughs> someone did break in. How did you eat, sleep, shower? Like, oh, it's so cool. Pogue Landia. Pogue Landia? <laughs> Hell yeah, it was called Pogue Landia. <laughs> it's not the best name ever. I miss Pogue Landia. Why did we only get one episode? He was there. Wow. I'm sorry, you, you don't need to no. talk about it. He was there. Just want you to have a fun day. What about him? You guys have sex? <laughs> you, you already know that's what he wanted to ask. Oh yeah, I feel like he was getting at that. You guys didn't like have sex that month, right? Oh my god! Be careful, Lola. Let's take a seat. Not too shabby. This is crazy. Why did he bring her out here? He's trying to win her over. <laughs> nice, Aubrey. You found the lighthouse, huh? Made this crazy discovery. <laughs> I'm glad I got to show you this. <laughs> I'm glad I got to show you this. Yeah, from in there. where did he get? What I keep under the register? What? JJ? Oh, okay. I didn't touch it, okay? Yeah, well, somebody did. Because it's gone. Oh, is he going to... Rafe. Rafe. What did he grab? A pistol? It's him. Yeah, he's going after Rafe. I'll check Tannehill. I'll go take the marina. Sarah's just partying. Leo just knows her way around already. Yeah, I was gonna say that. How does she just knows how to get everywhere? I don't know. She's pretty resourceful, so I wouldn't put it past her. Where, where, where is that, uh, that site exactly? Five of us have found this site. Since we've been back, three have died. Yeah, that's sketchy. It was destroyed. No, well, split in half, separated, not destroyed. Now over again. This is incredible. Found it. I feel like someone is about to roll up on them for sure. Thing, we haven't got Sing in a while. Yeah, where is he? At Barbados. <laughs> Not in OBX, that's the USA. John, you need to walk away from this. I know that I sparked an interest in this subject in you and Kepler, but look what it got us. There are forces here. What did it say? Tell me what you know what they say to you. Hey, what did you say? Hey, hey, hey. Don't hold on to me, Tommy. Shut up. Okay, okay, I'll tell you. Sit down. Let me do a shot. Big John's so fucked. Tommy, what's it say? You put the gnome on here, it asks a question. What? The gnome on. What just happened, bro? <laughs> oh my god! That's the most fucking <laughs> Looney Tune shit I've ever seen, bro. <laughs> Look, there's more coming! Oh more. There's more coming, bro! It was just so subtle. Dude. They left the thing out there, too. Yeah, someone's gonna steal it. Oh, it's this guy. <laughs> Oh my god, not again, Big John. You trust me, right? I'm gonna fucking kill these people. <laughs> I'm not John Rutledge, I'm fucking John Wick, baby, let's go. Big John Wick? These are- these are Sing's men. John B, help the professor. How? Poor John, bro, he's going through it, John B. Yeah, it stinks. John B is just... Watching people. Neville? Who's Neville? Longbottom? Oh my gosh. Oh god. Oh, oh. Oh no. Oh, they're gonna get captured. Stay down or I'll shoot. Oh, oh, sings here, speak of the devil. How you gonna translate that? I don't, I'm the only person alive who can translate that to you. Can't be true. Just kill the other one. 
You kill me, you kill any chance ever find an Eldorado. He was like translating it. And I know. Yeah. John's like, it's a bullshit it lie. Say? Dude, he, he has the biggest lies ever. <laughs> Take him to the boat. What if John V just dies? What? They're just partying. Oh, this is the fire scene where she looks at him in, in the trailer. Yeah. <laughs> oh no, Rob. What are you thinking? There it is. Oh. This is oh. fucked. You think someone's going to save him? Nah, John B dies in this episode. Me eyes. <laughs> Got him with the old sand in the eye trick. Oh, is he gonna find them there? <laughs> what are you guys doing? With everyone. Oh, do you think they're gonna kiss? Or how? She's married, bro. Sir, do you think things would have been a little different if I hadn't fought that night at the Bell and Yard? What do you mean? <laughs> Wait, what do you mean? I, um... What do you mean? Wait, what do you mean? Wait, what do you mean? Also almost killed was... John B by pushing him off the so fucking tower. Oh, I hate this brace. I might have to look away. Why? I don't want it. Do you? Do you want it? Not really, but I'm just happy for more top. Oh, Not she's... the cheek kiss. He's gonna kiss him. Oh no. Ah, oh, ah. Oh. That's not good. No, Sarah. What if John V sees her? I, I think he's not even near them. I think he's like in Charleston, no? No, he was back home. Was he? Yeah. Oh. That is not good. No, that's really bad. If you do translate it, you'll live. <laughs> if you can't, you'll die. Dude, he's just looking at symbols. He has no clue. Hope has a pistol. Shit is absolutely blowing up right now. You sure you want to do that? It's going to feel real nice. Only for a second. Won't bring your cross back. I don't care. Care about your mother and your father. Such, an, such a casual position to shoot someone yeah. sitting down. <laughs> yeah. yeah. It doesn't matter anyway. I've lost everything. You'll have all your friends and your fam, Pope. Yeah, all you really lost was the, the cross in school, right? Friends that will take a bullet for you. And me. I love you. Let's have your guys' first kiss right now. I'd love to see it. I mean, to cleanse after that top for Sarah kiss. Yeah, for real. What? Them to kiss or something? I know. I feel so fucking dirty after that. Oh, Pope. I don't know if I want to. I don't know if I want Sarah and John V to be together anymore. I don't want her to be with Topper. I sort of just want her to get kicked, kicked to the dust. I got you. Oh, Pope. She talked him down. Thank goodness. Good night. Nice, Cleo. Oh, I love it between them. I do too. <laughs> JJ in a tree. He doesn't look like he wanted to take that picture. Looked like Steve Irwin in there. R.I.P. We're gonna have to go get Big John back. Yeah. Guys, I lied to you. Believe it or not, 
<laughs> I guys are I no just want John B to be on the same fucking page. And tell me the truth about what's going on. Look, I know I've been a little shady. And, uh... Because my dad's been abusing me all season. <laughs> tell me what's going on. My dad killed two guys. <laughs> How do you think? I just like when they're together, these two. They're the brothers. The OG two. We'll figure it out. Yeah. We're both men. We always do. Oh, just thinking, I'm still thinking about Sarah at the hour. I can't get it out of my head. I think she's going to wake up and be like, Oh, fuck. An L. That's Ward coming in, bro. Oh, I bet it yeah. is. <laughs> the cane. Why do I it's just like I feel like he's not even like my least favorite right now? He just hasn't done anything. Ward Cameron has entered the game. <laughs> All right, first things first off, what do you want to talk about? I know what you want to talk I'm, about. I don't even want to talk about it. I honestly don't want, like, I don't know. I don't want Sarah to be with John B now. Just, ugh. So, so bad. She cheated. I mean, isn't that kind of like what she said when they got together with John B? Like, she cheated on top of her with John B. That was kind of like she said that she hurts people or, or whatever like she has been known to cheat on people which it sucks that she did that to john b but yeah i, I don't know uh, i wouldn't be too upset honestly if sarah and john b just stop being together and like are just friends moving forward i don't know I, that'd be really hard to pull off but just feels weird now that she did this with topper <laughs> but also at the end ward is back ha He's, I don't think he liked the way that Rafe was talking to him. I don't think he liked the fact that Rafe didn't actually like get the cross where it was supposed to be. And I can easily see him like putting Rafe in his place very quickly in probably the next episode. I don't know how like the people are going to react to him being back though. Like he's, he's a dead man. He's supposed to be dead. I, I guess mean, no one cared about Big John even like. Yeah, I but guess. But to be fair, they all watched Ward Cameron blow up on a boat. Which is very different, I feel like. Yeah, they went to Sal's house this episode as well. And I think they were like figuring out some a lot of good stuff there about the uh, El Dorado. I guess they, they just went on like some journey to South America and like found something very important. A uh, big clue. And ever since they got back, they're just getting picked off one, one by one. I think four of the five are dead now, so there's like one person left. I think probably John B would have to go talk to them somehow. I think Neville. That's probably what Neville. It is. Neville. That's probably the only the other person. But who could? I, is Neville just gonna be a new random person? I think so. Or is it even a person? Is it a place? Like, no clue. Maybe yeah. But yeah, that was crazy how that dude got killed with a poison dart. Yeah. That was fucking hilarious though. <laughs> that was actually really funny. Um, not a lot from Key this episode. I feel like that was probably for a reason, though. She's her parents are just like done. Yeah, I feel like she's doing a lot of thinking, though. Like they showed her looking at all the pictures of her friends and everything. I feel like that boarding school theory could probably come true here. Pope sort of blew up this episode. He was about to kill Rafe, and then Cleo stopped him. I mean, he was so pissed. I, I understand where he's coming from. I don't think he should have killed him, or had the idea to, but he was very angry, because that cross was, meant a lot to him, so. I don't know. I hope I want to him and Cleo's relationship are going is going really well, and I want to see it progress more, because I think they're I think they might be my favorite too. Right now, 100%. I feel like they're the only two that are a couple right now, or even they're, close they're to they're a couple. A yeah. couple. <laughs> no one is a couple right now, but Cleo and Pope are just having like the best moments. I feel like they're the only ones who are nice to each other right now. Big John's just continuing down his path of being a scary guy. Like, 
I still like him. I think he's entertaining and like funny, but boy, is he just scary. And I just have no idea how he's going to get out of translating this idol or whatever the heck it is. They said he has a week to do it because that's when they arrive. And like if he, he has no clue. No, he's just looking at scribbles. Like, I don't know. He did get that picture shown to him of like where it's supposed to go. And like it like asks you a question when you throw on there mm-hmm. like some... I don't know how that works, but hopefully we get to see like where they go to because it's, it's just like I'm, I'm intrigued about this whole like South America stuff. Why was this called the Dark Forest? Yeah, I don't know. Were they in a forest? I don't think. I don't think at any point. <laughs> okay. All right, guys. Well, that is it for this episode. If you have been liking all the OBX reactions, please leave a like, drop a comment and subscribe. Check out all the links in our description as well. We got the Patreon, Discord, all of our social media is down there, as well as the address to our PO box. Send us something to be opened up on camera and like everything you see behind us right now for our show mail time. And with all that being said, guys, we'll see you next time for season three, episode seven of Outer Banks. Peace out.